A Plague of All Cowards by William Barton, August 1976. Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. This is the ninth of 11 book reviews I'm doing for the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 2. And this is the first book that I've reviewed by William Barton. William Barton was born in 1950 and he is now 73 years old. He is an American science fiction author with novels that explore themes such as the Cold War, space travel, and space opera. A Plague of All Cowards is definitely a space opera. From the back of the book. In his first novel, Hunting on Cunderer, William Barton displayed his talent for creating exciting and thought-provoking science fiction. A Plague of All Cowards, his second novel, is a multi-leveled story peopled with exotic and very real characters, treacherous and complex intrigues, a hunt for a desperate assassin, and the Oracle, a sentient computer capable of manipulating certain levels of reality. A dramatic terrorist event, a hunt for the perpetrator and those who may be behind him. Intrigue, plot twists, and life-threatening situations. Some of our cast will not make it to the end. These heroes and villains and robots are writ large in the way perhaps of a graphic novel. I could see this story fitting in well in a heavy metal magazine. The novel also alludes to a larger universe. Barton is creating a universe, and this is a universe he continues to write in, both prequels and sequels. Zoltan Tharki is a star rover. He is a tall, muscular star captain of a spaceship, ready to fight battles and to win the girl. And behind the entire story is the Oracle, and we're not quite sure what the Oracle is. Tharki consults the Oracle and then goes on his mission. At the end of each chapter, we have a discussion between the two parts of the Oracle. It often foreshadows what happens in the next chapter. We are the Oracle. We know where everything is going and where everything ends, do we not? So we do, little man. We know all that was, is, will be. It is a simple thing that we do. We are not a man and we are not little. There is much of greatness in us. Part of us was once a man. Part of us once had a name and freedom. Yes, but now we are the psionic incongruity which has formed in this part of the universe. True, yet part of us was once a man who dabbled in the song of Alpha, and it was the coming together of the two parts which gave us being. Indeed, and now we approach what could be the major shift in reality that we have sought for so long. The time of waiting may yet end. Yes. We are the Oracle. Will he be able to find the terrorist? What will happen to those behind the ultimate plan? If I was watching a TV series about this universe, this would feel like episode 3 and 4 of an 8 episode series. We lack some prior knowledge, and we're not sure where the future is going for this series. This is a short novel at 150 pages. This was a rollicking, somewhat uneven tale. There's a lot of fun in the story, but there's also a lot that seems to be missing. How does this story fit in Barton's universe? Is this a good place to start? If you've read more of William Barton, perhaps you can fill us in in the comments below. I give A Plague of All Cowards 6.5 out of 10. Once again, at the end of the novel, we have a list of ace science fiction specials. I'll put this on the screen. You can see some of the ones that I've reviewed, but look at the third one, Equality in the Year 2000, by Reynolds. There's a typo with Reynolds, but there's another problem. This book doesn't exist in the Ace Science Fiction Specials. And then further down, we see another typo. Tournament. That's an interesting spelling there. We're nine books in now, and we're still having problems understanding what books comprise this series. Until next time, keep reading.